everyone, welcome back to Yanks Gamer. And um, I've just decided to do a follow on video from the storage solutions video that I put out a couple of days ago just because I've uh, got the Italian Wars collection mostly boxed up now and I'm going to just do a quick walk around the uh, boxes that I've done and then we'll have a look at um, actually putting some units onto a base which is something I didn't really do uh, last time so um, I'll have a quick wander around using the good old shaky cam uh, and uh, let's have a look at what we've done so far so here we go here's uh, box number one and if you remember uh, and you can read upside down we're doing 24 and a half litre really useful boxes and uh, the little Yorkshire Gamer twist is that um, I'm putting the figures on the lid and dropping the base of the useful box over the top of it that uh, makes life a lot easier getting figures out and saves a lot of damage with pikes and flags and stuff um, as you're lifting stuff out of the box so here we go here's the first one and as you can see um, this has got uh, units you'll all be familiar with if you follow the blog um, we've got the uh, the good old PayPal uh, PayPal pipe block um, the Swiss Lucerne pipe block and the Borgia pipe block and I've done this box so that the supporting shot units are directly behind them and you can see the, uh, all the bolts are separating out the units um, I've got a Borgia shot unit still to paint and I've got some guns and a command stand there that are taking up space for another pipe block which will be coming your way soon. So that's box one, box two. Box two is the heavy cavalry, uh, the gendarme, uh, the flag boys, whatever you want to call them and um, this looks fairly empty um well it's not really uh, so i've got one two three four five six seven eight ten ten units of yawn down there and enough space to do another six um so i'll do another six uh, i've got some in the pipeline coming up i've got some steel fist miniatures apologies for shaky cam i've got some steel fist miniatures uh, i'm going to do and i'm guessing once i've painted them and they look really good um, I'm probably going to end up doing some more. Uh, over to box three, and Swift Steven Spielberg like panning, uh, and this is the light cavalry box, and I've got five units in there: uh, mounted crossbow, um, light cavalry, and some Stradiots, and they're in twelves, um, so um, in the twenty-four. A half litre box lid I'm gonna get four sorry eight units of 12 in there and uh, there's a rogue Swiss halberd unit in there that hasn't got a home as yet um, so I've got four boxes and I'm gonna need at least five um, knowing me I'm probably gonna need at least ten uh, so I just could pan back now and this is box four that's um, got the lid um, covered with the balsa wood which I've cut to size sorry with the MDF 2mm MDF I've cut to size and you can just see there in the corner that I've used a tiny screw in each corner to fix it in place um, I was having problems with glue and gluing wood to plastic so old school no mess in Yorkshire just drill it in with a big screw um, so I'm gonna go through and just show you me sorting out the separators for these units and I've already as you can see there laid them out in a way that I think is going to get me the best use of space um, with the units that are going to go in this box nothing worse than starting off in one corner and then finding you can't get stuff in in the other so uh, there we go um, and we'll just do a little bit uh, just for complete the sake of me uh, doing some of the separation so there we go um, here's the balsa wood that we talked about in a previous video 
and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that to size to fit in that little gap there and I'm just using a Stanley knife to cut that down to the required size and then I'm using I've all gone proper posh I've got some proper wood glue uh, mostly because bedside cabinet fell apart a couple of weeks ago um, but this rather than use it for DIY I've used it for something more exciting um, glue with knees on so just a bit of glue on there and then I'm going to put this into place So we've got that line down there and then these are all bits of off cuts I've done from previous uh, jobs and then get the cross member there, bit of glue on that. And there we go. Simple as that. Let's take this up and uh, there we go. There's one unit put in. And we're just going to simply go and do exactly the same for all the other ones uh, until we've got um, them all completed. Uh, one top tip with this is uh, wood glue is quite sticky. So once you've got your template in place for the uh, figures take your figures out whilst you are um, the glue dries because otherwise you won't be taking your figures out because they'll be stuck to the base and um, you can I've ended up damaging some figures trying to get them out uh, another top tip as well is that sometimes you'll have a little bit of a bend in the base of this and uh, you will get um, the balsa wood not sticking in certain places so you can just rest a base on there like that just to make sure that they uh, stick to the MDF. So this one is now in situ so I'm going to take these figures out, put them to one side And you can see there, there's some glue underneath the cross piece of balsa wood there. And if you left that for a couple of hours, you, your lovely painted base will have stuck to it. So wait, take, take stuff out, make sure um, it's out of it. I normally leave it out for two or three hours, make sure the glue is absolutely dry and then stick it back in. And then going back to the gendarme one which is obviously completed um, I will a little bit of tackiness there with those um, I will put the name of the unit on there and also on the bottom of the base and that's the wrong one in the wrong uh, that was uh, rather poor uh, that, <laughs> that's the wrong the, the the name of the unit should match that and it doesn't um let's check i've not gone completely mad ah yeah there's attendio attendolo and uh those boys are in the right one so there you go and that's how it's set out and i'll just come back once i've uh, completely finished this one and just show you uh, the finish there we go uh, we've got the box lid marked out with our various units that are going to go in there and as we mentioned earlier on um, because we've got a bit of glue drying time um, the units that are going to go into it are up over here um, but we've I've left the line snacks in because they're a pain in the arse to move because the uh, 12 bases of uh, lance necks and a lot of flags so 
they only move if they really really need to and um, I ended up with a bit of space at the end uh, which doesn't quite fit two guns in um, so I've just stuck that gun in there for now um, and I'll decide exactly what I'm going to put in there later on because I, I know already um, having the Swiss Albert unit hanging around that I'm going to need to have at least one more box before um, uh, before we're finished if we're ever finished uh, so hopefully um, that was of some use to you um, I'll just try and pan back and get the whole army in view there we go and uh, they will stack up nicely and uh, live under the table until COVID goes away and we can finally get some gaming done here um, although I might do some solo stuff with them because they are uh, one of my favourite collections so thanks again for watching hope this was some use for you um, if you've not started uh, boxing your figures um, this is the way I do it and uh, hopefully you've got some tips from it thanks for watching Yorkshire Gamer give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon